I was always trying to get being Latino right. Because I was scared that people would say, you're a fraud, you don't even know Selena songs. And I do, for the record. My identity as being gay and Latino was very different from my friends because we grew up very black. You literally had to choose in the 90s of Philadelphia if you were going to, you know, exist within white gay culture or black gay culture because there was no concept of what Latino and gay looked like. So I started the Gravarones project um, after I met my best friend, Anthony. Anthony had moved to Philadelphia and had come with this notion where he was going to find community. So he came to Philadelphia and was like, so where are we at? And I'm like, where who at? And it was like, where are the gay Latino folks at? I'm like, uh, in their house. So after complaining, we decided, well, let's go find them. The one thing I noticed that a lot of the folks we've interviewed for Gravarones, that they have in common is when they hear me say, tell me your story, they hear me saying, tell me your world outside of your family. As opposed to like, no, like your story includes all of those folks. Like we get to come out and now our mother's dreams for us have to shift. Our family's dreams for us have to shift. How we relate and how we move through our leadership roles within families have to shift. We just find new ways to exist. I want to get the stories that are never told. Stories from people in the hood, not people who go to universities. And not that their stories weren't important, but they have queer groups on university campuses. People in North Philly did it. They have community on porches, right? What Varonas have taught me is that I'm enough. I don't have to work at being enough. It's not gonna happen in the future that right here, right now is enough and that there's no one way to be Latino, right? There's no one way to be Latinx and there's no one way to be out and proud. I'm always floored when parents share their children's stories because then their networks see it. Right, so then the Thea sees it and you know your godmother sees it and then it creates a different kind of possibility. <laughs>